Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is VK Su from Hattens and I'm from SingaporePropertyTV. And you know, recently I have actually received quite a number of inquiries from buyers, from clients who have been looking for large properties. You know, by large, I mean, you know, more than 2,000 square feet, uh, typical requirements like freehold uh, in Prime District 10, and then with a budget of, let's say, three point something to four million, okay? And they want four bedrooms, for example. Okay, so um, the challenge that a lot of them face right now is that they can't find anything in the market. Can you imagine that, ladies and gentlemen, with four million budget, you can't really find anything that is suitable. And I thought, you know, to address those questions and maybe to handle some of those issues that you may have faced yourself uh, while looking for a property in the market right now, uh, this would be a very good place for me to, um, you know, tackle some of those questions and uh, possibly point out to you the reality of the market right now, okay? Now, if you're familiar with this location, uh, which I believe some of you may be, all right, I am actually at Pandan Valley, uh, which is there on my left-hand side. Okay, it's an old development, huge plot of land, um, built in the 1970s, a lot of old big units are there. Okay, Pandan Valley, a uh, lot of us probably are familiar with this, okay? And then I'm walking towards Pandan Valley, down to Mount Sinai Rise, and that over in front, that plot over in front is the beginning of the Mount Sinai neighborhood and also uh, belonging to the District 10, Prime District. Okay, so this is a good place for me to um, discuss a little bit more about uh, those topics because I've actually transacted quite a number of units here and I kind of understand who are the buyers, who are the sellers, what are their thoughts and plays, uh, what are their thinking process and uh, hopefully, you know, uh, you may benefit from this video and uh, possibly resonate with some of the points that I just mentioned to you, okay? Now, for example, over on my left-hand side right now, uh, this is Trizon, okay, Trizon over here, uh, two towers, uh, it's in fact one of the newer developments apart from Marbella, which is further up in front. Uh, this is one of the newer ones. And it's a nice project. I've sold uh, a unit here recently, just a, couple, a few weeks back, uh, within a matter of just two weeks. Okay, within just a matter of two weeks uh, for the owner at a good price. Okay, so along this stretch here, there are mainly triple nine or freehold properties. Prime District 10, except for a couple of 99-year uh, lease hold older condos like uh, Estelle Green and Cavendish Park uh, to my right-hand side, okay? Now, for example, over here at Trizon and Montville, these are the newer ones. Uh, the pricing here is approximately 1,700 to 1,800 per square foot, okay? So uh, over here, possibly you might be able to still get some uh, big units within the four mil range. Three point something could be a bit challenging, but possibly, okay. And then further down this road uh, is along Mount Sinai Rise, and uh, you would start to see uh, bigger, older condos, uh, like for example, uh, Beaverton Court on Fontana Heights in front, and uh, Lee Woods and uh, Richwood Condos and uh, Village Tower in front. Okay, so as I walk along this path, maybe I'll just tell you a little bit more. All right, now over here in this neighborhood is actually uh, quite interesting because uh, despite the fact that it is not that close, like immediate proximity to the MRT, okay, uh, there is a feeder bus uh, 92 that actually serves around this Mouse and Line neighborhood, including the condos and the landed properties around here. And from here, which is actually a very short walk away from Monview and from the Trizon side gate. Um, uh, it's just within about 10 to 12 minutes bus ride uh, to the nearby Buona Vista MRT, okay? And uh, from there, you know, it's very convenient. You have cold storage and everything right there. Or even just a few stops away to the Gimmo market, okay? So it's actually, uh, you know, quite a convenient neighborhood, I would say. And it has its own feel to it. Uh, very tranquil. Uh, it's not really you know, full of those high-rise buildings that you see in downtown or even in like Orchard Road area. Um, it, it really brings you that kind of homely feel, okay? Uh, mainly due to the fact that, you know, there are really some 
you know, that old charm to it, to some of these buildings around. Okay, so this is uh, Mount Sinai Rise, and I'm actually walking down towards uh, Beaverton Court, and in front of me is Fontana Heights. Okay, these two projects here, these are the uh, famous uh, big units development. Okay, yeah, you can find uh, really big units, uh, three, four thousand square feet units over here. Uh, the reality, ladies and gentlemen, is that the reality, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, there aren't many units for sale. In fact, it is very hard for you to find something that's for sale here. Even if you can find, okay, the pricing here would command a pretty high quantum. Okay, like for example, Fontana Heights, I understand that uh, the price here is about 1,800 per square foot. Okay, uh, big units, if you multiply by the big size, you will probably arrive at about $8 million range. Uh, of quantum that you got to spend for a big units, okay? So effectively, if you have a budget of about 4 mil and you're looking for big units, 4 bedrooms, large size, single level, uh, it's kind of hard to find something that you can buy over here at this kind of large units. And really, the fact is that um, the owners here are not selling, okay? I've spoken to owners around here they aren't selling because a lot of them, you know, they have fully paid up their mortgage. Uh, they have, you know, um, they're not in any urgent need to sell at all. In fact, quite a number of them here, they're all waiting for that on-block potential, okay? For that on-block potential. And I just passed by on my left-hand side, Richwood Condominium, okay? Richwood Condominium is another huge plot of land right here. Um, uh, this is one of the side gates. There are actually three entrances uh, to Richwood. Okay, I have sold a unit here on the high floor uh, not too long ago, just about three months ago. Okay, at a record price of 1424 per square foot. 1424 per square foot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's a record price. Okay, uh, and I understand that right now, uh, the owners here, if there is any selling, they are looking at higher PSF. It's a very common situation right now because owners of these large units, if they are selling, they are looking for large PSF. Okay, on my right, as I mentioned, just now is Fontana Heights. Again, over here, the price is about 1,800 PSF. Okay, now in front of me is a uh, lesser known <laughs> development. Uh, this one is called Laywoods Condominium. Okay, Laywoods Condominium is an uh, old development built in the 1980s you know, with just 23 units in one block like that. The land size here is about 30,000 square feet. Okay, standard size is 2217 square feet of um, three plus study, or sometimes they call it a three bedroom, except for a penthouse, which is more than 4,000 square feet. Okay, I have sold a unit here in the mid floor at uh, a record price of 3.08 mil. Uh, that was a few months back, okay, and this is a record PSF at 3.08 mil. Now, just before that transaction, okay, the transaction back then was uh, 2.88 million. Okay, I have sold it at the price of $200,000 above that previous transaction. Okay, and that amounts to 1398 or 1389 PSF, something around that range. So it's close to 1,400 PSF for Laywoods. Okay, freehold, uh, fantastic view uh, to the back, uh, unblocked, uh, looking towards Dover Forest. Okay, now the situation here is that if you're looking for a unit here right now for sale, none of the owners are selling, none of them. Okay, in fact, I've come here so often that I get to know some of the owners and I know through my private conversations with a couple of them, they're looking at a price of 1,800 PSF if they were to sell. Okay, they feel that, you know, 1,004 is undervalued for this kind of property. So this is a situation, ladies and gentlemen, because if you're looking for large units, more than 2,000 square feet, you know, three plus study, four bedrooms, one single level, freehold, district 10, for example, okay, you got to look for this kind of old developments right here. But the fact is that, you know, there is really a very limited supply. Even if there's someone selling, please be expect uh, expect the price to be way above the past transactions done. Okay, there's no way that you can get something that's at the recent transactions 
and still they're selling, okay? And also because of the age of the properties, please also be prepared to spend about $100 PSF or maybe sometimes 150 PSF, uh, you know, just for the renovation or maybe defects ratification. Okay, uh, very common for old condos. Just like our human body, right? If, you know, after 30 years, some parts may be failing and all that. So you need to do some repair. It's the same concept. Okay, so we've talked about, you know, we've talked about the uh, Pandan Valley and then further up, the Trizon and then uh, Richwood Condo here. Okay, uh, these are some of the older ones. In fact, uh, besides Laywoods in front, uh, you, you will notice that there are two developments. The one that's further in front of the road, uh, nearer to the road, that one is called Village Tower, also built in 1980s. Okay, I believe it is 1983. Okay, uh, built in the 1980s, there are 60 units. Uh, I think it's about 60 units there. Okay, the price here is about 1,600 PSF. 1,600 PSF. I know there are a couple of units selling. Okay, uh, generally big units, uh, you know, with a three bedder like about 1,800 square feet. Uh, some of the bigger ones, commons the size of about 3,000 square feet. Okay, and then behind Village Tower, uh, which you can see, uh, is Mabella. Mabella is actually a newer one compared to some of these older neighbors around. Mabella also commands a very good view towards the Dover Forest. Uh, the prices there are about 1,800 PSF. Okay, and I know that there are very few owners are selling. Uh, probably right now, the asking price could be close to 2,000 PSF, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is a situation. Uh, you have a very limited supply uh, of such properties around, especially old ones. And you know, if you're looking for uh, a property uh, within this kind of neighborhood uh, with the constraint of a budget, really the situation is that there are only two ways that you can achieve your goals. One is really to increase a budget, okay, to increase a budget, or the other way is really to manage your size expectations. Okay, um, um, a lot of people have been telling me that you know they will only look at uh, freehold properties and all that, and um, you know they would only consider sizes that is more than two thousand square feet. The fact is that you can't find the kind of units for sale. Okay, you can't find the kind of units for sale. All right, so um, so this is a perfect uh, environment that I'd like to point out to you with real life examples, with some of the uh, transactions that I personally have done. Uh, now, some of you may be asking, you know, what are the kind of buyers we've been buying? Well, like for example, the one that I've sold over at the um, Richwood and over at Labors, those are young buyers, young buyers in their mid thirties or possibly late 30s with uh, school-going kids. Uh, sometimes they need a bigger space, so they're looking for this kind of older condos with bigger space. Okay, and they are expect, uh, they, they have expected to, to pay more than past transactions and they're willing to pay uh, their professionals uh, with good income. All right, so that's the, the kind of profiles that are buying uh, these houses. Okay, the one over that I sold at Trizon, uh, which is a, a two plus study. Um, um, the, the buyers are more of um, uh, of the age of nearing their retirement age, so they have sold their existing property and looking for somewhere that is, you know, a little bit more tranquil, a little bit uh, in a more prime estate, uh, but uh, you know, uh, possibly with a smaller size. So those are the retirees who are buying, okay? So even for well, I was marketing those big units around here, there are also retirees who are looking for decent units about, you know, more than 2,000 square feet. They probably would have sold their landed properties because as kids grow up, they moved and they would just want something that is like an uh, apartment, uh, but not too small, all right? So these are the kinds of uh, properties they're looking out for and uh, they are willing to pay in cash. They are willing to pay in cash because they have sold their landed properties, all right? So this is a situation, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and I would strongly encourage you, you know, if you, if you face some of the dilemma of, you know, trying to strike a balance between uh, budget and uh, choices, uh, please also uh, be open to newer projects, 
okay, newer projects, even some of the new launches, because despite the fact that some of them may not be freehold, these days, really, frankly speaking, the buyers don't, you know, whether or not it's freehold or leasehold, um, the buyers don't, it doesn't really matter that much anymore because um, the reports repeated over time that, you know, despite the fact that you hold a freehold property, if the government needs that piece of land, they are able to, how should I say, uh, legally, you know, uh, acquire those pieces of land if they need it uh, for infrastructure development. Okay, whether or not it's freehold or leasehold, eventually the government, the government has the final say. Okay, so um, well, some of you may, say, may be asking, you know, how close is this place uh, at Mount Sinai area uh, to the MRT? You know, right in front of me over here at the shelter, there's this path that actually leads down to the park connector. And over here, it leads to the Dover Park Connector. And from here, the walking distance to MRT is approximately about eight minutes walk to the Dover MRT, all right? But uh, frankly speaking, if I stay here, uh, most likely I will be taking, you know, if I'm not driving, I will be taking the bus, uh, 92, you know, for the same amount of time I could have reached Bona Vista uh, MRT interchange as well, because it's the interchange between East-West Line and Circle Line. Okay, so uh, this is a little bit of introduction to this Mount Sinai estate. Uh, some of you may not be very familiar here to this estate, so I thought of, I thought of uh, shooting this video to show you a little bit more. Okay, like in front here, you know, there's a bus stop uh, for bus 92 that brings you to Gimmo, Wet Market, and Bona Vista MRT. So this is Laywoods, as I was telling you. Okay, very familiar project over here. All right, so, well, I think uh, I've explained enough, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you are facing challenges in finding big units, uh, there could be some around, but be prepared to pay. Otherwise, it is a reality check for you, hopefully. And uh, please be open to um, newer projects because a lot of them are in good locations in prime districts. Uh, some of them even directly connected to the MRT, okay? Uh, but because of the smaller size, you are able to get it at a very affordable price range. Sometimes it's just a matter of adjustment. And a lot of buyers these days, they're kind of adjusted to that. All right. So whether, whether it's um, resale or new launches, I'll be able to help you. If you're a seller looking to find a buyer, uh, there are many inquiries that I've received and possibly I will be able to assist as well. All right, so with that, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is PK So from pkso.com. I'm from singaporeproperty.tv and I'm from Huttons. I look very much forward to uh, engaging with you and hopefully to assist you in your search for your next home. Uh, please feel free to call me at 9697-1131, 9697-1131. I look very much forward to seeing you very soon.